Hi everyone, Shannon here with Mixed Media Minnesota. Welcome to my video. Um, today we're going to start on the February 1st JJ Tag a Day hashtag tag. And um, it is the prompt is numbers. So we're going to work with this tag base today. And we might um, use different tag bases for the other ones, but this is what we're going to use today. It's just a pre made, I think it might be a Tim Holtz tag base. Um, and it's numbers. So I pulled out some number stamps. This one is by Stamperia and this one I'm not sure where I got this one, but it's like measuring so there's numbers and distress all over. And then I have a stencil here and then I have these little um, ledgers that we can use because there's numbers all over those. And then I found this on this washi roll. I think this is from 49 Market. 49 market maybe or Primo I'm not sure 49 market I think but see there's numbers on there so if we need to use that I have those here all right so what I'm gonna do originally is I'm gonna start out with the tag I also have this this is what we want to do um, I want to do for the background and I haven't used this one this is the Tim Holtz uh, collage paper and this one is the typeset one so I have like three or four tubes of this and I rarely ever use it. So I was like, yes, I'm going to use it. Sorry for the noise, guys. I just got to get that out there. Okay, so uh, let's see here. What do we got? I don't really want the big, big numbers, I don't think, do I? There's numbers on there, but I like this. So, excuse my reach here, guys. I'm gonna try some, try and tear this off, like, right there. And we'll hang on to this. Put that in my scraps. I like these numbers here. So I'm wondering if we run that, see it picks up these ones as well. Okay, so I'm going to um, go ahead and just tear that a little bit bigger than what it is. Okay, <laughs> or that. I'll put this back in here so it doesn't really unroll on me. Okay, no, that didn't work the greatest, but a little bigger than my tag. Okay. And then I would usually use like a matte gel or Mod Podge. I don't like Mod Podge, but you can use that. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna sew around these tags. I'm this tag, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use glue stick, get that on there, and then I, when I stitch around it, it'll grab the ends, you know, so they don't peel up. But I'm not gonna stitch until we're further along in it. So turning this this way. Okay, lay flat little tag so we can get all, I don't want to, I don't want to not get it all covered, you know what I mean? Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to just press that on there. I shouldn't have got glue on my little board here I was using, but we did. Okay, so I'm just going to rub that on there. I did get a little bit off here, but it's okay. Now I'm going to just snip that off. I gotta clean those scissors one day. Okay, so now let's see here. I just have an old. I thought I had just a regular. Ouch, sorry. Hold on a second here. I'm gonna get that top chopped out of there. And I thought I had just a, a regular. Yeah, I do. Okay, I don't have to take that out right now. Um, just gonna pop that out of there. Uh, the tissue paper doesn't want to really. Okay. 
All right. Okay, sorry about that. Now let's see. Get this out of our way here. And let's go ahead and grab our black soot. Um, right here. <laughs> okay. And then, just my ink the edges. So that if it peels up right now, I could add like our glitter glue or something on it. Like I might have that problem right here on the edge. Oh, I think it was alright. But see, now you can hardly even tell that we missed a little spot there. And it's a little raggedy here, that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit on the back as well. Yeah, so the JJ Tag a Day in, a tag a day in February, I thought it would be a good idea just to play with some different things. It gives me an idea to work with, use up some of my stuff, and build my pre-made ephemera. So, yeah, I thought that was a good plan and it just gives me like i said ideas and stuff sometimes it's just kind of i don't know i'm gonna try lightly cover go over that a little bit okay so we have that we have numbers now we need to add some more numbers and i thought it would be fun to bring in some of these numbers so Oh, there, that side's actually cool, too. Okay, I shouldn't put this away because I'm going to need it again and again. So I'm just going to ink around this. I don't think I want it all the way to the end. No, I kind of like that right there. So we're going to go ahead and glue that on there. Oh, goodness, okay. I cleaned my glue. I stuck a needle in there, but I didn't think it would come oozing out like that. Oh, well. Hope you guys are staying warm. Well, this one I'm recording this is a couple weeks ago already from when you're going to see it, but it is cold. It is definitely cold. I got to get some of that glue smeared around to the edges here. I'm not finger painting, I just don't want it to peel up. And if I'm not going to put it on the edge there, it's probably not going to um, be caught by stitching. So, I'm just going to do whatever I think and not think about it. So, I just pop that right on there. I like that. So, rub that on there really good, making sure I get all the edges and the excess glue off. Okay, that's cool. Oops. There went my punch. Okay, do we want to add a little bit of tape measure on there? Let's see. This is this one's pretty pretty grungy. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe we do like a different color. Let's see. I'm gonna use red later on to bring that red in there, but honestly, I think it looks cool just like that. Um, but I think I do want a different color. What about, let's see, hickory smoke, just so it's kind of paint. Let's just see what it looks like. I have no idea. And I think beans, this one's going, I don't know. I think I'm, I'm just playing. I'm just gonna see what we get okay so yeah there's some a little bit of numbers in the back I mean you can't really you'll you'll see them if you're looking for them that's what it's kind of what I'm looking for here they're very faint because of the color which I like that so let's try to get maybe there Okay, so you can't really see that one that well, I don't know, but like you can see it more here, but I wanted it like this, you know, where it's kind of just in the background, so I'm happy with that. Okay, I'm going to set this over here, I'll put that away after I'm finished here, so I'm going to try to make these videos quicker, 
And this one I'm gonna set here just in case we need along with the washi, but I do wanna do this. I just got this out of a pack, let's see here. A long time ago at Walmart and the, I don't know, a couple bucks or something. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna use this one because it's red and I haven't used it before. We're gonna use the red, the Distress Ink Barn Door. Okay, now to decide. Where do we want this? Do we want this here? No, I think I want it up here actually. So trying to hold that there so I don't move it around and just get, I want this to be pretty vib pretty bright and vibrant. Oh, it's gonna be. <laughs> okay, no questions there. I just hope it doesn't look pink. I don't want pink. My fingers are going to be red. Ooh, I moved it. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, that looks really cool, doesn't it? it definitely does. Okay. That's definitely cool. Uh, let's see if I can wipe my stencil off because it has like a shiny coating over it, which is kind of cool. I can try to wipe it off. And reuse it over and over and over. Okay, I don't know. I think that looks pretty cool, actually. Oops. Okay, what am I doing? There, okay. That looks really cool. Okay, let's see here. I think I want to try and put an eyelid in there because that's bugging me here, so. So I think we needed this out for a reason. And I think I want to do a white eyelet. I have a big white one, which this one might, do, might not be big enough. Oh yeah, that'll work. Okay, let's do that. Oh, is this on the right setting though? That's the question. It's not. Okay. All right, let's give it a try. Oh. All right, good. Okay, I gotta put this away. There is a dump it out. Have you guys ever dumped it out? I dumped this out and I ended up sitting on the floor with a magnet to try to pick up my eyelids. That's not very fun. All right, so there's our cool tag, and now, let's see, I do want to put something down here, like a focal point or something, and I didn't, I didn't even think of that, but I would like to find something with a number, so, or maybe a 10 year person, that's the number, you know, numbers, but I do have some of these, these are the, these are Tim Holtz. Those are too big, but the black and white, I think, would be cool, and a clock has numbers. Yeah, that's perfect. I think that's perfect. Let's do that. Okay, so put that back. Okay, I'm going to distress the edge of this clock. And then actually, I think I might want to mat this clock on maybe black cardstock, I think. Thought I had some around here. I'm not sure. I might have to go digging for that. Okay. Let's see if I can find some real quick here. Let's see. Okay, I am going to attempt. Um, let's see, let's stick this down, right? I think I'm just going to stick a little bit of glue in the center for right now in case we want to put something else in. Otherwise, I can come back and glue it more. I might want to cut that more. And then I'm just gonna eyeball tear this, I think, with my hand. Just to give that little torn look. Oh goodness, okay. Well that's not quite dry yet, so I can move it around. Okay, let's see. If 
that's do you think that's too much black no i'm thinking we could cut this off but i like that i like that on there just like that i don't like the black it's too much i think um so we're gonna go ahead and stick that down but before we do that it's always but before we do that um, okay, why don't we go ahead and i'm just gonna see if i have some black lace up here I mean, it's kind of cool if it hangs off, right? Okay. Or maybe this way. I don't want to cover, I don't want to cover all of that eight. I think that's cool. No, I don't like it. We're not going to, oh no, what the heck is going on here? My studio got really cold and so my glue didn't want to work, right? And I'm guessing... Uh, we're gonna just close that tight, I think. Okay. Well, that was really smart because I need it, right? Okay. Here. You know what would have been really cool behind this? A little bit of old vintage, um, like, you know, like the calculator receipt or register receipt, you know, with a bunch of numbers and stuff on it, and then distressed and tucked behind this little clock. That would be cool. You could make your own too if you had one. I do have a. Um, yeah. See, it's just oozing out of there and then sometimes it won't come out it's probably frozen i do have a um a, a calculator that has you know if i can find what i did with it it has the um you know where i can only use that the ticket you know that would have been cool close that before we have that again okay for right now i'm going to just Grab my nasty, gluey, sticky mess. Wipe that off for right now. So I glued the whole thing. I don't know what I was thinking, but. Okay. I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna cut that off, but I haven't decided just yet, so. I'll wait and see. Okay, I have. These from my Christmas stuff. They were some awesome tags. And you know what? I'm going to cut that off. Okay. Let's take like two of them. Um, I think I'm just going to stick them through there maybe. Okay, hold on here. Okay, so I thought I had a number, but I don't, I can't find it. If I find one, I'll put it on there. Um, but let's just knot this. Okay. Do we need a flower or something over here? I feel like it's a little boring. Something like. I should have left that popped up because I think that would have been really cool with left behind there. I'm, I'm gonna try it. We can glue it back down. So let's see here. We like that. Like it better down here. Just to cover the eight too much up there. Mm, I don't think so. I think it'll be okay. Let's go ahead and stick that right there. Or before we do that, let's try a different color, maybe. Other than red. Maybe maybe we introduce a third color here. The yellow does look really cool actually. Let's see what we can find here. I feel like sunflowers aren't going to be right, but just for the heck of it, let's see. Yeah. These are the paper um, flowers, all of these. I have them in Mixed Media Minnesota's Etsy shop. I have a bunch of them, so if you're interested in them, they're great. 
Um, yeah, go ahead and check those out. I'll, there's, I'll, I'll always leave a link to my Etsy shop below, but what if we just do some green? Hold on. Okay, I like the green. I mean, I think I'm being too picky here, but I should go with it. This is going to take way longer than what I wanted it to take if we don't move it. So, I like those on there, and I'm going to put them on there. Um, rip the bottom of that one. I'm not even going to ink these ones. I'm just going to leave them. I have more flowers too. I don't know. I don't know if flowers maybe isn't the, the thing. Let's see. I should have found all this stuff out prior, right? Oh, this I just saw the colors of this, and this is cool. Oh, that would have been really sick on there, wouldn't it? That's cool. I'll have to remember that for my favorite color because it's red. All right, let's trim this out. I don't like working with red though. I mean, for the most part, I usually spend like Christmas. That's why I don't like working with Christmas. I, I don't. I struggle when I work with red. Um, okay, let's glue this back down here. That's gonna be a mess. I need a new baby wipe. I just take a chunk of my baby wipes out and let them set out, and then they dry. That's what I do. Glue that down. I feel like it needs something down here, but I think that we might be able to just get that. Uh, I want to keep this mock. We might be able to find some, like a word label or something. Our, our number label would be ideal. We've got digital labels here. There's numbers and it's red. Okay, hold on. No. It covers up these cool numbers. I like those numbers there, so just if there's a little tiny one somewhere that's I have this peeled up ten times yet. Let's put it over top. Okay, stay down. That'll work on it. I think it will. Just very lightly here. Distress the edges of that. Give her some glue. Where did we have that now? I think up here, right? We still ended up by covering up. Oh, let's move it this way a little bit. Cover up the whole clock. I don't know where I had that. It's gonna be right there. So that's where it's stuck. Okay. I think some of those labels might be Tracy Fox labels. I'm not sure. Right, let's see, we forgot about these ones. Let's see where can we add a little row of numbers down here.
honestly don't even think it needs anything else. I'm not going to. I'm going to call that good. I actually like it. And I'm afraid if I keep adding to it, I'm not going to like it anymore. So I don't want to do that. So get everything out of our way here. And here's tag number one. Numbers. Let me know. What do you think? I'm going to stitch around this, though. Hold on. <laughs> and I have red thread. That's what we'll do. There we go. I got it all stitched on. Just messy stitched twice around it here. And I just stitched right over top of this because then it, it's not going to come apart if they come untied. Our back got a little messy, but that's all right. I think it's okay. Um, I just want to go ahead and do one more thing. And I don't know if we'll do this on all of them or not. This one's numbers. That's why I figured, well, I'll just do this. Um, where is it? Okay. It's a little tiny one. Grab our blonde, do our red. Okay. Yeah, because you're, yeah, I think that's perfect. Alrighty, now I have this stuff laying here to get out of my way and put my ink away. Okay, there it is. Tag number one, and the prompt was numbers. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I hope you're playing along with me. Um, go ahead and share your make on Mixed Media Minnesota's Facebook page. If you can, I can't remember which one it is that you can't. So if you can't, um, you, can, you can email me a picture of it too. I'd love to see it. MixedMediaMinnesota at gmail.com. Um, if you have a channel, you know, or an Instagram or anything else, or wherever you post, just use the hashtag JJ Tag a Day. Tag a Day. All right. Hashtag JJ Tag a day. There is prompt number one completed. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you soon.